All right, so uh, we're on the next ship. Looking at the controller, they are having some issues here with the uh, car deck. Uh, what's happening is the, um, I'm just sending it up and down and we're watching these. This is your car door, hall door, and then your hall door lock. Cause these are GAL locks. So you got the two contacts in them. Um, and, uh, what happens is people get in on the car deck, the hall door right here is going to swing closed, right? Um, and then the car doors, this vertical sliding doors don't close until you have somewhere to go, right? Uh, so we're going to send it up. Then we're going to watch those. See the PC and HCL pick up. It's working a bit better now. I did, because as soon as I got on the boat, uh, four ladies got in the elevator and it wasn't working. So I gave her a quick wipe, which seems to have made quite a bit of a difference. Um, they've had a bit of a leak here. This was right here, which as we can see, it is leaking right at the bottom there. Um, so that's this here. I don't know how how that happened. Um, I do believe the hose was changed at some point in time, but I'm not really sure. The tag doesn't show that it has been changed, um, but I don't know how this would get messed up, right? See that we're leaking there? But they slowed it down. I guess it was pretty bad. Um, but this is a quick look at the controller we're gonna go down and we're gonna take that uh, we're gonna take that door apart or the door lock we're gonna clean the closed the clothes are bad I saw them right away they're in rough shape and we will hit up the lock contact or the door lock contacts and uh, I'll show you those okay so Again, I showed you the small leak off the back of the valve body here, right? Um, and it was only, which was kind of weird. Like this isn't a pressurized tank. There's no pressure. It's all in that line, right? But uh, it was on the way down. It seemed to be leaking and bubbling. And this is your return. That gray plastic one, which was quite loose. Um, again, it's probably due to vibration on here, right? Um, but that's about her. I got it uh, pretty tight. Um, where's the light here? Sorry, hang on a second. So you can see the pump. And the motor is down there, right? There's your screen. And that was... Uh, what was loose right there that gray pipe so uh i'm gonna drop her back down tighten all the bolts back up uh hopefully the uh, battery in this guy lasts to put him back on and uh we're gonna give her a whirl and then we'll get back to the lock issue okay so the uh, ship is shut down for like a lunch break for the guys. Um, here's the pit. The elevator's up top. I believe this is the one a while back that had the, oh yeah. The one video where I came here for a service call and this was like ripped off the top. Um, got the lock apart. So I got the power off. That's why I got the wheelchair holding that door open um, you can see when I work the lock those top one those are the door lock contacts which are pretty clean these ones here are a little greasy and uh, as well as those ones so I'm gonna clean those up they keep spraying this, I think it's called rust check or something. 
I see the bottles I've been kicking around the kicking around the ship um, try to not get them to do that but uh, that's what they do I guess um, but that's gonna remedy our problem uh, after checking the tank um, I do I have slowed down that hydraulic leak at the tank a little well quite a bit but uh, it's just leaking ever so slightly so I may have to take that block off that valve body off and see about that uh, cork gasket underneath there but uh, I'm gonna take care of these locks and uh, Just thought I'd show you so there's a the clean they're clean now right what I'm using is uh, I pick up they come in like maybe like a 6 by 10 block big pad of uh, synthetic steel wool is what I'm using to clean these uh, they're pretty pretty soft on the uh, contacts right you're not gonna damage them take too much life off of them and uh, it's going to clean them up pretty good. I got numerous different things that I use but uh, this is what I brought with me on uh, the trip so let me know if anyone's ever used this or whatever in the contacts or what you use. Okay so got the top floor door lock done. Uh, lube the rails up heavy heavy dose of uh, fluid film you can still see the damage done to that bracket but uh, she's holding up pretty good no big deal uh, checked out the uh, what are, what retiring cams do we use here I think they are CJ Anderson's the one for obviously GAL. Um, that's pretty much her for this. I'm going to get off this boat and uh, meeting some hydraulic guys on the other ship in a couple hours to uh, change out the hydraulic lines. So, oh, and tomorrow I'm going to make time to return here and uh, revisit that tank because I got to get this turned on because they're going to go back in service here right away. So that'll be on the next video. Thanks, guys.